given that there is a plane and we are asked that and we are asked to find the foot of the perpendicular drawn from point p under the plane so let's just say that point is q we know that if uh, any plane equation is in the given is given in the form of r bar dot n bar is equal to some c then n bar is will be the direction cosines of any line perpendicular to the plane so pq pq line passing through p and q will have direction cosines uh, which are given by n so from that i can tell any point on the line uh, passing through p and perpendicular to plane will be uh, x minus x minus point p is given by uh, 2i cap plus 3j cap so this will be x minus 2 by uh, so here x minus 2 by 2 that this 2 is from here is equal to y minus 3 3 from here by 1 1 is from here uh, is equal to z minus 4 by z minus 4 by uh, here it will be 3 3 is from here from this n cap the, this is n cap so now this is equal to some t now since it's foot uh, i mean since it's a point on the plane it must uh, satisfy the plane equation so initially i'll get from here x is equal to 2 plus 2t two y is equal to 3 plus t z is equal to simply 4 plus 3t now we'll get from if we put this in uh, plane equation we have to get the value of t so that is 2 plus 2t i cap plus 3 plus t j cap plus 4 plus 3t k cap this thing dot 2i cap plus j cap plus 3k cap my is equal to 26 so now i will get from this 2 into 2 plus 2t will be 4 plus 40 so 4 plus 40 it's just a dot product plus 3 plus t plus dot product what will do is we'll multiply the corresponding element that is one preceding k cap with one preceding k cap so this will be 3 into 4 plus 3t 12 plus 90 this is equal to 26 from this i'll get 14t 4 plus 3 plus 12 which is 19 19 plus 14t is equal to 26 from this i'll get t is equal to half so t i got as half so that means here the points will be that is foot of perpendicular will be x is equal to uh, 2 plus 2 into half that is 3 y is equal to 3 plus half which will be 7 by 2 z is equal to 4 plus 3 by 2 which will be uh, 11 by 2 so that the, it's a foot of perpendicular now distance of the perpendicular is just the distance between point p and q so which will be equal to uh, simply 3 minus 3 minus 2 whole square plus 7 by 2 minus 3 whole square uh, plus simply 11 by 2 minus 4 whole square 2 minus whole square into square root this is the distance between two points right distance between two points is given by x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square plus z1 minus z2 whole square uh, square root of this whole thing this is a distance now pq is equal to simply this one which will be equal to one square plus half square plus three by two square so that will be equal to square root of one plus one by four plus this is plus nine by four which is simply uh, 10 14 square root of 14 by 4 which is root 14 by 2 this is a distance between um, this is a distance between the or the length of the perpendicular drawn from point p now we are asked to find the image of point p now from here till here 
the first direction we got t is equal to half now if we extend this till image then that means here there will be another t times thing so this will become t, in, uh, t into 1 which will be simply uh, Im image will be image points will be x is equal to 2 plus 2 into uh, now it will be 2t which is 1 this is equal to 4 similarly y is equal to 3 plus uh, t here now 3 plus 2t which will be 3 plus 1 that is equal to 4 again z is equal to 4 plus 3 into 2t which will be 3 into 1 7 so z is equal to 7 therefore image is 4 comma 4 comma 7 this is image foot is simply uh, 4 comma sorry is it for 4 comma sorry 3 comma 7 by 2 comma 11 by 2 so this is 3 comma 7 by 2 comma 11 by 2 this is the foot length of perpendicular is simply square root of 14 by 2 this is the answer to this question